You are the problem. I'm the problem. You are. Care to explain? Sure. One word. Kyrie. <laughs> it's big Kyrie, bitch. What about Kyrie? You have failed him as a mother. Kyrie is horrible. And you ask why we put our hands on him. It's because of his mouth. And because you don't hold him accountable for the shit he does. And he's damn near 17 years old. Savon, you love pointing the fucking finger. And you love pointing it the fuck back at everybody but yourself. Boy, you better lower your tongue before I jump across this counter and fry your ass like some fried chicken. I got the flour, mama. Start frying his bitch ass. Ma, do you not see that you let Kyrie get away with everything? You too, Savon. How? Oh, well, let's see. I didn't touch you when you got a bitch pregnant at 17 years old. I didn't touch you when you decided to get several bitches pregnant shortly after, and I had to be captain abort. I didn't touch you when you laid a bitch down in my bed. I haven't touched you since I found out that you got yet another bitch pregnant, and I still have not touched you, even after finding out that you got that same bitch my address. She was my fiancé, mama. Fiancé, Beyonce. I don't give a fin up. Like I said, you're the problem. I blame you for what I've done to these women. You enabled it. Boy, you sound dumb as hell. I didn't tell you to go populate the Arsavon. You didn't tell me not to either. Brian, am I lying? Mama's the reason we act the way we act. Oh, I forgot she got your bitch ass on payroll. What'd she give back to you, your phone? Or is she letting you see the little college senior that you're not supposed to see? Oh, oh she didn't know. I thought I told you to get rid of that predator. You did. My mom turned 18 in four days and he's only 24 years old. And so damn old to be dating you. Now get rid of him before I get rid of him and your phone. Okay. So then there's no need for me to tell you that Savon has some heat coming your way. Now, I may be a cold-ass bitch, but I ain't never been scared of no motherfucking heat. So what exactly is coming my way? Mm. Gosh, I can't remember. But I think I might be able to remember if I can still see my boyfriend. You done made that grown ass man your boyfriend? I'm calling the cops on his ass. And tell them to stick around because you gonna need them for my special guest. Savon, if you gave my address to yet another person without my consent, they are going to need a search party to find your body. Ha ha, they gonna need one for you too. Because I'm going to hide your body real good. Grandma, you're out of jail. You like having bitches pop up and fuck up my relationship, mama? Well, I can play that game too. What's wrong, Tamika? <laughs> You look like you just sent a ghost. I hope your mom took her meds today. Baby, I just I just forced you into her life. It's gonna take her some time to come around. Good morning, how are you both feeling? Mom, are you okay? I'm great. What do you guys have going on today? We were going to go clothes shopping for the baby. If you'd like to come. <gasps> I'd love to come. Okay, mama, I'll drive. Sounds good, son. Oh, I forgot to ask. Can Versace and Louis come with us, Savon? Versace and Louis as in Louis Vuitton? Girl, yeah, she can bring both handbags. Let me wear one. No, my love. 
I meant his baby mama, Versace, and his firstborn son, Louis. <laughs> he doesn't have any children. I'm carrying his first child. Do you really have to start making up stuff now, Tamika? I know that's what he told you, my love. But if we're going to be one big, blended, happy family, I think that that should include Versace. It does not include her, mama, and I wasn't ready to tell her. Wait. You really have a kid with someone else? Mm, talk about living a double life, Savon. Let me properly introduce the two of you. Sachi! Kenya, this is Versace, Savon's first love, and the mother of his firstborn. And by firstborn, she means our three-year-old son. Three, three. Oh, calm down, sis. Don't go into premature labor. I'm only just the ex that he's completely obsessed with. Versace, I don't care about you, nor am I obsessed with is you. Is that why you failed to tell Kim Wa about me? Her name is Kenya. Kim Wa. Did you know the only reason why you're pregnant and engaged right now is because I refuse to be married and a mother of two? So he went and found the easiest bitch to manipulate into giving him what he wants. Mama, what are you trying to do here? Savon, you seem very upset. I thought you would be excited. I mean, you did open up my home to your fiance. I thought that it would only be fair to open it up to Versace and your son. How could you not be excited about that? I mean, after all, this is my fucking house and I can do whatever I want. So when were you gonna actually tell me, Savon? After I had the baby, after our wedding, after our daughter graduated college? Baby, I'm sorry. What's even more upsetting is that you're already hiding one child and I'm about to bring your second child into this world. Are you going to hide this one too? I mean, what type of father are you? A Debbie. If I needed any advice from the unwanted baby mama, I would have asked. After all, he kept you a secret too, and that is nothing to be proud of. Stay safe and pregnant, sis, because the last thing you need is for me to come over this counter. Was that a threat, you street rat? Street rat? That's a new one. Question, have you ever seen a tiger viciously attack its prey? No, I haven't. You haven't? Watch closely. Bitch. I said no violence. The fuck, she pregnant with my granddaughter. She called me a fucking street rat. And you know none of his bitches gonna disrespect me. I slap all his bitches. You touch her and I'll kill you. Ooh! Ooh! He love you. Look how overprotective he is over you. He used to be like that towards me too. This is too much. Kenya. I need a moment. I'm gonna book a hotel. You see, son? Going against mama never turns out good. You should know that by now. Okay, mama. Savon, how old are you? How old is Kyrie, mama? And where is he at? Why is he not in here with me? Train him to stay in a child's place because he's making grown man decisions and can't handle grown man ass whoopings. What started the fight? I was really after Brian, since he wants to be your little personal snitch and have you stop Kenya from coming, which you failed at miserably. First of all, Brian is not my little snitch. Second of all, how, what do you mean I failed? How did I fail? The bitch is not here. Excuse me while I go get the door. Who's at my door, Savon? Savon, do you know how much traffic I went through to get here? I know, baby, but I couldn't use the car. And then you had me and your unborn child ride over here in an Uber? What if we got kidnapped? Come on, baby. We will talk about this later. What's the issue? I'm six months pregnant with your grandchild, and I'm hearing that you don't want anything to do with me?
Oh, now you have nothing to say. Wow. Well, we're engaged. I'm having a baby, his baby, and this is really happening, whether you like it or not. I'm sorry that if me having your second grandchild is making you feel older than what you already are, but that has nothing to do with me. This baby is coming and you will not separate me or my child from my fiance. Savon, please tell me why after I said I did not want her here, she is now in my house. Savon, what are you doing? All that venting that you do? Give it to her. You give me anything other than what the fuck I asked you to give me. You're gonna do what? Put your hands on him in front of me? I'll call the cops. Savon, start talking. Savon, don't say a fucking word. Savon, put your mama in her place. Savon, if you attempt to put me anywhere, you will fail and I will successfully put you six feet under. Savon, what? Are you really the man I'm about to marry? You brought me all the way out here for what? Just send me back. Like, you brought me here to watch your mom degrade you? No. Then stand up to her. Tell her what is going to happen from this point on. He ain't gonna tell me a goddamn thing in my motherfucking house. You gonna learn real quick who I am. Tamika, I already know who you are. You are nothing but a maniac of a mother who abuses her sons mentally and sometimes physically. Uh, so far, what you been telling this bitch? Feeding her all these lies. What the hell is she talking about? Shut up, both of you. Ma. If you don't want me, my fiance, or my unborn daughter here, then we will leave and you will never see me or your granddaughter again. Period. Kenya, this is my mama. And you will not disrespect her in her own house. I did not bring you here for that. Okay, Savon. Okay. Good job, baby. Nah. My mom about to get active. Is this the charger you was crying about? You can have that shit. I'm gonna go buy myself another one. You can't. I'm gonna take that one too. And just like you got your ass beat over that one, you'll get your ass beat over the new one. For some odd reason, you and Savon both think that y'all have whooped my ass. And I'm still trying to find the whoop because it has not made it to my ass. How are you gonna keep my name out your mouth? Savon, Savon, Savon. What happens next? I'll deal with you later. No, deal with me now. Brian, did you tell mama that Kenya was coming down here? Because the only person I told that to was you. It was either that or my phone, and I needed my phone. You would have did the same thing. And you would have squared up with me if I did. So get up and catch this fair one. It actually won't be a fair one because I, I want to get active with him too. Y'all are not about to jump me. Y'all both can line it up and take turns catching these hands down. Curry, sit your bitch ass down. You over here crying about a charger. I got a real reason to fight. Come on, don't be telling me what to sit. Sit your bitch ass down. Bitch, watch your motherfucking bitch ass. You Get your bitch. bitch. You want to go car shopping with me today? What kind of car are you trying to get? A Range Rover. Why does everybody want a Range Rover? The value of the car is not even worth the price of the car. I was also considering a BMW. <laughs> not worth it. The maintenance on that car costs more than the car itself. I might just get a Dodge Charger. Okay, Mr. 392, Mr. Scat Pat. Be original. Stop getting cars that everybody else has. Hmm. So I should get a car like you? Oh, wait. You don't have a car. So I just got an approval for the house I applied for. Are you renting or buying? Renting. Bro, what? What's the point of even announcing that you got approved? Like, renting a house is not an accomplishment. Talk to me when you're about to close on your house. That's crazy because I just helped you move into your one bedroom apartment that you're renting. Okay, I have an apartment. I'm not ready to buy a house.
neither am I. Guess who just got promoted at work? That's crazy. How is that crazy? Because the job is never that serious to go and get promoted. Like, But weren't you talking about promoting when we first started? I want better for myself. I'm not about to stay at this job. There are better jobs out there. Like, If you want to stay here and make a career out of this job, be my guest. And what department are you about to be over? Because you're not about to be coming over there telling me what to do. Wow, you want to got the 15 Pro Max? <sniffs> Trying to keep up with everybody else, I see. I'm not upgrading. I like my phone. My phone works just fine. And I got the 12 Pro Max. Great. I'm glad you like your 12. Like the cameras are still the same. It's Everything is still the same, bro. It's the same phone. You basically want to just pay for the title. That's it. Nothing has changed. If you're not eligible for an upgrade or can't afford to upgrade, just say that. You coming to my graduation? Graduation? Oh, yeah. I forgot you're in college. Yeah, it's a major accomplishment. I'm good with my high school diploma. Like, what's the point of wasting another four years in a classroom when I can literally get the same type of job you're going to get without a degree? Mm, I don't think you can be a lawyer with just your high school diploma. And on second thought, don't even come. Oh my God, get out your feelings. All you're getting is a little fancy diploma. I'll be at your little graduation. So I went and got a 392. I saw it on Facebook. And I noticed you didn't like the post or comment, congratulations. Do you know how many posts pop up on my feed? How much are your payments? $9.75. Wow, congratulations to half your paycheck going to a car every month. <laughs> $9.75? That's basically my rent. You are such a hater. I'm not a hater. I'm just smart with my money. I'm not about to go get a car that's the same amount as my rent every month. You can't even afford the car, let alone test drive the car. Yo, why did you back the car up like that? And why did you park like that? I swear you can't drive. Critiquing me from the passenger seat when you have never sat in the driver's seat is insane. Savannah, I'm about to go to the store. I need you to watch Brian and Kyrie. Tamika, I am not watching your kids. They are not my responsibility. Damn. Not only do I have a toxic mother, but an abusive one too. One that can't aim. Savon, I've been told you you can leave my house whenever you're ready. And go where? Right! So the next time you decide to tell me what you're not going to do, think about where you would go if I kicked you out of my house. I already have plans. Well, they have been delayed. You will watch my children until I get back. Then you can proceed with your plans. Okay, Tamika. Ma, did I just hear you tell Savon he had to watch me and Kyrie? You did hear that, yes. Since when do I need a babysitter? Since your fast ass had a 23-year-old grown-ass man stop by my house looking for you. He was 25. Your brother is watching you and I am done with this conversation. Can I at least have my phone back? For what? Savannah has a phone and will contact me if there's an emergency. What are we, five? No, but you are an out of control teenager who needs 24 hours supervision. <sighs> Mama is having Savannah babysit us. Mama, you can't even control me. What makes you think Savon can't control me? I will beat his ass. Oh, second thought, Mama, leave them with me. I want to see something. Savon, don't you be in here putting your hands on my child. And Kyrie, I will turn you every way but loose. Test it if you want to. He acts like that because you don't put your hands on him enough. Well, come on, ho. Come put your hands on me. Come teach me a lesson. I don't know about a lesson, but I would definitely teach. Never mind. It is clear that I can't leave y'all's asses alone. I just wanted to go to the grocery store so that I can cook dinner. But you know what? Y'all's asses can go ahead and help yourselves to whatever's in the fridge or the pantry. Or y'all can starve.
Savon, what you want to do? Mama is still here. Oh my God. It feels so good to spend Christmas alone. I mean, I got rid of everybody. The boys are with their daddy. Travis is in Chicago. <sighs> this year has been hell for me, and I deserve some alone time. Shit. I might even keep everybody gone until next year, because I am tired of everybody and their shit. But right now, I'm at peace, and I'm going to enjoy this day. I can't believe you have me standing out there that long. It's cold outside. Well, I wasn't expecting company or Jimmy. Going into the new year, I decided that I want us to be a real family again. And I realized that that, that starts with me. Could you start somewhere else, please? I realize that I have been a horrible mother. And I realize because of that, some of you have done some unspeakable acts. So have you, mama. But I love my kids. Ma, I would like to get back to my family. Do get to the point. Ugh. No more lies, no more secrets, so I'll start first. Tamika, I am sorry. Mama, you're drunk. Yes, and I'm also the reason that Michael left you. I introduced him and Karen. Okay. You got any secrets for me, Tamika? Well, wait. Uh, how could I forget? Um, I do hate you. But you know what? I don't think that's much of a secret. I have a son. We all know Genesis is yours by now, Tanya. Tell me something I don't know. That's it, Mama. Is it? You see, I never bring Jimmy around, let alone do I come to y'all's houses for Christmas because I have my own life to live that doesn't involve my children. But I got a call from my grandson, Brian, and he told me that he was grounded for a year. Tough titty. He also told me about an argument he overheard between you and Tanya about who Genesis' father was. All right, Ma. This is my Christmas list for this year. Now, I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. But, well, damn. And did you fall and hit your head on something? Because what type of year have you had, Kyrie? <laughs> Ma, I'll be chilling. You're the one who'll be chilling. Your grades are trash. Your mouth is reckless. And your behavior is... Top tier. Out of control. Period. Period what, Brian? I'm just saying, Mama's right. You do have a bad attitude, Kyrie. Oh, watch this. Mama, did you ever meet that boy he be sneaking in the house? What the entire fuck? Watch your damn mouth, Brian. Ma. Did you forget that you told Brian to bring that boy and his parents over so you can tell them that their son has been sneaking in your house, messing around with your son? Ma, focus on him. He is trying to change the topic. 
and that situation is far from over. I haven't forgotten, but I'll deal with that later. You ain't getting shit for Christmas, but a damn Merry Christmas and maybe a Christmas dinner. You know what, Mama? You sure do judge me a lot. You call it judging, I call it parenting. Hmm. What about moral compass? What about it? You clearly don't have it. Neither do you. What the hell are you talking about, boy? I'm talking about Genesis and his biological mother. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Really, mama? Really? Really, mama? You know what? I am protecting his feelings. And how the hell did you find out about that, Kyrie? Come on, mama. You and your sisters don't know how to use y'all's inside voices. I'm sure the neighbors heard y'all arguing about it, too. So Genesis was adopted? Mm, not quite. Shut up, Kyrie. When you tape that paper back up that I gave you, that you crumbled up, then I might let my top lip meet my bottom. Oh, hey. I am not your brothers. I am your mama. You will not blackmail me. I will hurt you. Yes, that is very true. But the way I'm about to sing, a canary is no match for me. I'm about to run my mouth like water if you do not comply. Kyrie, who do you think I am? That holding shit over people's head? That don't work on me? I am your mother. I have kept you alive for 16 years, and I will take you out. Uh, Mama, come on. You ain't got to get all inspirational on me. Just give me what I ask for Christmas, and we'll be okay. Your secret will be safe with me. I ain't getting you a damn thing, little boy. You're out of your simple-ass mind. Hmm. I wonder what state of mind Aunt Tanya was in when she decided to give Genesis up to Aunt Gabriella. Oh, wait a damn minute. Wait a... Oh, my God. Brian. I know how you feel about that boy, but you would not say a damn thing to that boy or I will. Let me see my new boyfriend in peace. Is is that what you'll do? Oh, y'all both got me fucked up. What, what do I look like? Am I not y'all's mama? I am not one of y'all. Y'all not finna handle me like that. I'm just saying, if that information were to get out from me and Kyrie, I think that boy would need a lifetime of therapy. Uh, yes, I agree. And he just lost his mother which is not his real mother he's gonna be fucked up for life but if you told him when you thought he was ready then i think he'll be okay you see i think that is your information to tell not ours i guess what i'm trying to say is we will not tell genesis anything if you keep us happy this little gang y'all want to play with me will not end well for either one of you. No, well, it sounds like it doesn't end well for Genesis either. But it does not have to be that way, mama. Put your pride aside and give us what we want. Let me remind y'all that I gave birth to both of y'all with no pain medication. I am your creator. Challenging me would be very dangerous. All these little tricks and shit, y'all be playing against each other. I taught y'all that. So are y'all sure y'all want to do this? Are you? Okay. As much as I can shut this down right now, I'm not ready to tell that boy this secret. So I'll play along. Kyrie, go ahead and write me up another Christmas list. And Brian, do not have that boy in my house while I am here. When I am gone, then you can sneak him over. I hope y'all are prepared for what happens when all of this is over. Because eventually, I will tell him. And after I do... I'm coming for both of y'all hard because y'all got me fucked up. So I hope y'all know what the fuck y'all doing. <laughs> Where'd my pen go? Kyrie, I think we fucked up. Stop being a little bitch, Brian. Fuck. Find me a pen. You need to be figuring out what you're going to do. I don't know how this works, Savon. You clearly have way more experience in getting hoes pregnant than me, so you tell me what to do. Why are you yelling at me? You're the one opening up boxes and not reading the manual. How was I supposed to know a vagina came with instructions? Well, the first thing you want to do is wear a condom, my boy. And if you can't do that, simply pull out. 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 One kid and five abortions later. Did you simply forget to pull out? You're upset and you're saying hurtful things. It's understandable. 
I did this whole take a pregnancy test. No, it's only been a few weeks. Have you talked to her? No, I blocked her on everything. Why would you do that? Because I was disgusted with myself after. And I realized I am actually gay. Every time I looked at it, it reminded me of an oyster. Why does it look like that? Yeah, you gay as hell because ain't no straight man asking that question. Well, if this girl is actually pregnant, can you take us to the clinic, Devon? Hell no. You're the one out here experimenting. You do it. Experiment on what? Nothing. It didn't sound like nothing. I heard Savon say something about getting girls pregnant. Did you get somebody pregnant, Brian? No. I was so hoping you were going to be honest with me. I can't snitch on you if you're going to lie. I'm not lying. Savon. I said what I had to say, Brian. Be a man and handle your situation. Pregnant girls experimenting a situation? That's enough ammunition to bring to mama. Kyra, you don't get tired of snitching. No. I get off on watching mama tear you apart. And if I say her name five times in a row, she will appear like Candyman. Kyrie! I've already said it once. Four more to go. What do you want? Hmm. How about you tell me what I want? Mama. Oops. Three more to go. Oh my God, can you stop? <laughs> no, because I love my mama. Uh oh. <laughs> Two more to go. Kyrie, I will beat your ass again. Mama! Uh, shit! I'll cut the grass for a week. Oh, a little sweat ain't never hurt nobody. I think I've said her name four times in a row now. One more to go. I'll do all your chores for a year. Mm, tempting, but no. You have five seconds to make me feel good. <laughs> do something to make me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck that. Mama! Oh. You don't love your life. Why is there yelling in my kitchen? <laughs> Brian got something he want to tell you. Oh, I wonder what it is. I already know it's going to piss me off. But y'all love that, right? Y'all love that shit. Y'all love when I have to put my hands on y'all. So what is it, Brian? Go ahead. Mom, I might have gotten this girl pregnant. I'm sorry, what the fuck did you just say to me? up with this girl a few weeks ago and um I, uh, Brian put some damn bass in your voice I cannot quite hear you clearly now come again would you start speaking if I reach over this counter and grab your ass Ma, she might be pregnant I don't know you confuse me you confuse me because you're supposed to be gay which is already a bit much for me, but now you want to be gay and do straight things. Pick a damn sexuality. Uh, I'm gay. Okay, okay, all right, all right, that's nice to know. I can't, I, I can't, I cannot, I cannot. Make it go away, make it go away before I make you go away. Make it go away. Yes, ma'am. This shit better be cleared up by next weekend. I can't remember the last time I seen all my children in one room. None of you even bother to answer the phone when I call. Answer the phone for what? All you do is ask for money. Or a ride when you have your own car but don't want to waste your gas but want to waste everybody else's gas. Hey, not too much on my mama. Not too much on the underaged females, Tommy. Or your nieces. Tell me, why are we here? 
I am dealing with a lot right now and I don't have time to sit here and listen to your kids argue. Your kids? So you're above us, Tamika? Terry, shut up! I am above this. And you know I'm the wrong sister to be trying to argue with. I will air your shit the fuck out. Again, Tammy, why are we here? When did I become Tammy? That's your name, isn't it? What do you have going on that is more important than what I'm about to say? You see, I have kids that I'm actually a mother to. And right now I'm dealing with their poor decisions in life. But I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be all right. I just prefer not to deal with you or your bullshit. Mika, what happened now? <laughs> Brian got a girl pregnant. Brian? I didn't know he had it in him. Wait, I thought he was the gay one. He is. You know who else is gay? Your twin boys, who also think that they're Disney princesses. I get it. You're a single mother who is divorced, has no man, can't get a man, because you're always angry and bitter. I'm married, happy, and I understand. Your wife weighs approximately 600 pounds. God almighty. You have to put bricks under y'all's bed because of her oversized back. The last time you slept with her, she tried to climb on top of you and sent you to the emergency room for broken ribs and a crushed lung. Are you still having trouble breathing? Fuck. The only person I shared that with is you, Tara, so clearly you can't keep your fucking mouth shut. How's Tarika? Did she ever find out who her baby daddy was? Tamika, I told you that in confidence. Right, you did. And he made me share it publicly. See, my nephew got him somebody pregnant. I knew he liked him some coochie. I'm proud of him. Mama, why are we here? Ah, it's been a minute since we argued. I feel like starting some shit. Tanya, tell Tamika that you slept with her ex-husband. Tanya! You slept with Michael? Tamika, no. I would never do that to you. He slept with me well after y'all's divorce. And I told him that he was wrong for that. Like, how could you sleep with your ex-wife's sister? Tanya, how could you? He slept with me. It's the same thing, you bitch. No, it's not. He came to me. You could have said no, Tanya. It's not in my vocabulary. I love men. I am a whore. And I get it from my mama. You like this shit, don't you? Seeing us argue and be against each other, you like that. Y'all have been arguing since y'all was kids, and I am tired of trying to stop it. So when y'all are ready to hear what I have to say, let me know. Tanya, you are insane. You want to know what's insane, Terry? Your wife being banned from every buffet in the state of Texas because she decided to wipe one out in Houston. I mean, she cleared out the entire restaurant and then had the audacity to ask the employees to fill up more food trays. I mean, bitch, how about you throw some of it back up? Fuck. Another thing I shared with only you, Tara. You did. And it's my fault for thinking that I could share your business with our sisters in confidence. I won't do it again. Y'all keep going. I love the abuse. Shut up, Tommy. You are literally the youngest and the dumbest. And mama's favorite. Mama, don't forget that Tara and Tamika slept with your ex-husband, Earl. Did you know that Earl was your real daddy and told mama to get rid of you when she found out she was pregnant with you? You look lost. She never told you that Earl was your real daddy? No? Oh, Tamika. What are you talking about? We all have the same daddy. You sound crazy. Our father died before your ass was conceived. Mama, she's lying. Tell her. Tell her she's lying. Oh, Tammy, you look hurt. Go ahead and tell him that the man that you accused me of Tara sleeping with was his real daddy. And also tell him that he never claimed him or loved him. You know what, Tamika? You are your mother's daughter. Whether you want to accept it or not, you and me are just the same. I have stage three cancer.
I do hope that little information brings y'all all together. Have a good day. All right, baby, my mama was on the way over here. Travis, are you sure it's not too soon to be meeting your mom? I mean, I don't I don't necessarily have a, a good track history from, you know, meeting moms. Oh, baby, it'll be fine. Yeah, but did you tell your mom about our age difference? No, I didn't tell her anything because I wanted her to meet you and form her own judgment. See? No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because if she does decide to judge, then I'm going to decide to react. And it won't be good for either one of us. Oh, baby, my mama would love you to show her that you're a respectful woman and you're polite. I'm not any of that. I need you to be that today because that's what I told her you were. Mom, this is my girlfriend, Tamika. Tamika, this is my mom, Ida. <clears throat> It's, it's nice to meet you. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about you. Oh, you're such a nervous little thing. It's okay. Calm down, honey. When did you meet my son? Oh, we, we met two months ago. Uh, two months ago, and he's already living with you and paying all the bills? By choice, he is. I, I didn't ask him to do that. This is a very large house. For just two people. Do you have any children? I do. I, I have three. Three? Three. Oh, Travis, you missed that major detail. I didn't think it was that important. How old are these children? Oh, they, they grown, mama. Define grown. And exactly how old is your girlfriend, Travis? The boys are 19, 17, and uh, 16. Oh, that's interesting. How old are you, Tamale? Who's Tamale? Oh, is that not your name? It's Tamika. What did I say? You said Tamale. Then that's what it is. How old are you? I'm 40. 40? Travis, what are you doing with this older woman? You do know my son is 35 years young with no children. Older woman? He has no business being with you. Do your children have the same father or different dads? I was married to their father. You were married. What happened? Mom, with all due respect, that's none of your business. That's personal. Oh, it's fine, Travis. It's fine. <laughs> he cheated on me and decided to unmarry me and marry her. Well, what did you do wrong? You clearly did something wrong for him to cheat on you. Mom, I need you to stop being disrespectful right now. Fine. How are your sons adjusting to my son? They're adjusting. You know what, that, that's great, that's great. Travis, he likes fixing things. You know, he I've seen him fix several women that were older than him, such as yourself. You know, women that were broken. Broken? Am I broken, Travis? I never said that. Ma, I never said that. You didn't have to. She's 40, divorced with three kids. I mean, it's a perfect project for you, Pro Travis. Project. Ma, that is not true. He will fix you, build you up, whatever you want to call it, and then he'll move on to the next broken woman for his project. Oh, Travis, don't spare her feelings. She can handle it. I mean, she's mature. And old enough to handle it. <laughs> Let me tell you something, bitch. Well, wait a minute now. Don't call me a bitch. Bitch! 
Your son does 360s and my coaching. That is one of the reasons I allow him to stay here. Oh, does he? Your son has spent a great amount of money on me and my three kids. Another reason I allow him to stay here. Oh, has he? So I ain't nobody's fucking project. I met him at Walmart and he was flirting hard. And you know what? A bitch can get lonely at times. So I decided, I decided to let him entertain me. Is that? so it is so when i get tired of looking at him then he can move on to another woman but he will only move on if i say so now <laughs> did you have any other questions for me idaho I'm sorry, who is Idaho? Is that not your name? No, it's Ida. Well, what did I say? You said Idaho. Then that's what it is. Travis, as you are escorting your mother out of my house, please let her know that I wasn't as disrespectful as I could have been, and I want her to appreciate that. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to enjoy watching my son leave you in pieces. I'm the type of bitch that does not like to ask twice for somebody to leave my house. Travis? Come on, Ma. It was nice meeting you. He give me good life. He give me good dick. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? Janice, he is cheating on you. He give me good life. He give me good dick. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? So you're the only one around here who can have a man? This ain't got nothing to do with my man. He give you good life? He give you good dick? Why would you leave? Why would you leave? Mama, Travis gotta go. Mama, that man didn't pick me up from school all week. I had to walk home. So why didn't you take the bus? That man did say you would say that. Mama, he called me a bum. Hmm. He told me he was gonna send me to a gay conversion camp. He gave me good life. Now that is where I draw the line. Travis. Yes, my queen. Brian just told me that you told him that you were going to send him to a gay conversion camp. What would I leave? I did. What makes you think you can send my child anywhere? The thing is, baby, I was just choking. Brian was cussing me out because I told him to do his homework. As a matter of fact, all three of them are cussing me out. They were cussing you out. But I handled it. I handled it. I took care of it. So you don't have to do anything else. Do not joke about my son's sexuality ever again. I got you. Now, boys, I know that y'all are not used to a man being in a house, especially one that tells y'all what to do. No, which is why he got to go. Well, he is not going anywhere anytime soon. I actually enjoy Travis, and this is my house. And I want him in my house. I have catered to everybody my entire life and have got nothing in return. It is time for me to do what makes me happy. And Travis makes me happy.
Ma, this man is trying to force me to get a job. Savan, what is wrong with you having a job? You have a child. Do you expect me to pay child support for your son until he is 18? Yes, you're the grandmother. That's what you're supposed to do. Stupid. Stupid. You are. You better go to those interviews that he's scheduled or else. Or else what, mama? Or else I'll have my man escort you out of my house. And mama don't want to, but I will. I'm tired of taking care of you, Savon. Brian, your issue was that he tried to get you to do your homework, something that you are supposed to do. I'm not addressing that. Do you have any other questions, comments, or concerns? No. Okay. Kyrie? Man, look, I ain't walking home from school. Then get on the damn bus or ride a bicycle. Did you have any other issues with Travis? Yes. That's too damn bad. Travis is here to stay. And y'all need to learn how to coexist with him. He give me good life. Get out of my house, Janice. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? All right, boys. I got y'all support cards. Um, who's first? Brian. All ace, as expected. Let's read some of the teacher's comments. Mrs. Jackson, you are raising one intelligent human being. Brian is smart, brilliant, and his future looks promising. I don't have any students who have a four-year scholarship to Harvard in my class, so I am honored to have Brian in my class. You know, I have always been proud to be your mama. Auntie, I think it should be getting my report cards now. I did switch over to my guardian. Let's see. Oh, yep, Genesis. Here we go. All A's and one B. Mm -mm, how disappointing. Genesis, this class you have a B in. Talk to me about it. It's a college class. They only offer it to students who've passed their stellar exam during their sophomore year in high school. I believe Brian took the same exam, but what were your test results again? It's a college class. Me and 10 other students didn't pass. It was an exam, not a class. And how unfortunate that you failed that exam. I pass for flying colors, though. Aunt Tamika, that is a very challenging class. To have anything under a C could get you removed. So for me to have a B in that type of class, the same type of class that they offer at schools like Harvard, is amazing. Would you mind reading my teacher's comments, Aunt Tamika? Mrs. Jackson. Genesis is a very well-educated student of mine who I highly recommended to five major colleges due to his extremely high test scores in my class. Most students who take my class average a C or C minus. Genesis has maintained a B for the past semester, making his score the highest in my class. He is definitely going places. Hey, that's my nephew. I could have passed that class. And yet you did not. I still have a four-year scholarship to a college that doesn't even know you exist. And yet all my teachers recommended me to not just Harvard, but four other top colleges in the United States. Mm -hmm. Great. Did you get a phone call back? Did you get a letter in the mail? Is it official? I have not yet, but I will. This conversation has expired. Mom, can you read my little brother's report card? Boys, you both are doing great in school. Keep up the good work. All right, Kyrie, there are no scores. It, there's a comment though, it says, Mrs. Jackson, Kyrie's scores were so low that I was embarrassed to email them to you. Please stop by my office so we can further discuss. Kyrie, what the fuck is the issue? Why, why are you cussing at me? School is not for me, I wanna drop out. So damn bad. What do you need from me as a mother to get you back on track? Because 20 parent-teacher conferences in one damn year is insane. So withdraw me. You don't like seeing these teachers? Neither do I. Where did I go wrong with you? Find out where grandma went wrong with you, and then you'll find out where you went wrong with me. You know what it is? I don't beat your ass enough. That's what it is. You want to be like your older brother? 
You wanna be a high school dropout? One kid, no job, no pot to piss in? Yes, mom, I wanna be just like Siobhan. How about you homeschool me? I'm tired, mom, I don't wanna be in school. I hate everyone there. You are not there for everybody, Kyrie. You are there to get your damn high school diploma. We have got to figure something out because I am tired. That is enough. You are in your sophomore year in high school and you have not progressed. Remove me from school. That is out of the question. Well, then you're going to continue to stress about my performance in school because it's about to get worse. Jesus, I know I have not lost control of my child. No, uh-uh, mm-mm. I'll tell you what, when Travis gets home, me and him are going to discuss what we're going to do with you because that is enough. Ma, Travis is a damn kid himself. You're old enough to be his mama. So don't be going to talk to one of your other kids about me. Mama, how long is Genesis staying with us? Brian, I am actually in the process of becoming Genesis's legal guardian, so he will be here for a while. I need to make a phone call. Is there a problem? Is it? I'm asking you. Just stay the fuck out of my way or you'll end up like the last cousin that stayed here. Brian, I know you're used to thinking you're the smartest grandchild out of all of us. That must have been hard for you to admit. While I'm in your house, I'm going to make sure I humble you every chance I get. Spell humble. How about you look deep within yourself and find it first before you ask somebody how to spell it? You know what I can find deep down inside me? My parents, who are very much still alive and breathing. And that was just a small taste of how disrespectful I can get. So during the duration of your stay, watch your fucking mouth. And don't you ever try to compete with me in front of my mom. Kyrie, get your shit together. Mind your motherfucking business. It has been a very long time since I've seen condom wrappers in my house. Until now. Ma, I don't even use condoms. Savon, this has nothing to do with you because I actually found this in Brian and Genesis's room. First of all, mama, it is still my room. Genesis is just pest that I cannot control. Second, that is not mine. Well, if it doesn't belong to you, then it means it belongs to Genesis. Auntie, I would never disrespect your house like that. I wouldn't even have time to do anything like that in Brian's room without being caught. Me either. Ever since you forced yourself into my room, I have not been able to have any privacy. Privacy for fucking what? Just general privacy. Privacy for what? Cut the shit, Brian. I know that little boyfriend of yours has been in my house every other night. Even if that were true, I wouldn't be dumb enough to leave a condom wrapper in plain sight. But you're dumb enough to sneak a boy in. Why were you in my room anyway, mama? I didn't know I needed permission to enter any room in a house that I pay mortgage in. You technically don't pay the mortgage. Travis does. Brian LaShawn Jackson, that mouth of yours has become a problem. It's a problem because my mom has become toxic. Ma, can I use the car? <laughs> I'm toxic because I'm getting to your ass about shit. You still have a problem with me being gay. Oh, you love pulling that pathetic ass car. I don't care nothing about you being gay. I have a problem with you having underage sex in my house. You don't have no proof, mama. Genesis is the one who told me that you'd be sneaking a boy in my house every other night. So whoever this little boy is, 
I want you to bring him to my house with his parents so I can tell them what I found in your room. And then I can tell them where he's at every other night. I'm not doing that. You will, or I'll go up to your school and find him myself. You know, at first, I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off. Getting a condom, taking the condom out of the package, leaving the package on the floor for your mom to find, getting her to believe that it was yours and not mine. I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off, but I did. Genesis, do you, do you got a death wish? Shut up, Savannah, before I tell your mama you've been selling drugs out of her house. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You have no idea who you're fucking with. Then show me. Okay. Kyrie! Who oh, hot you not got two pock in my butt? Carmen, is there a reason your mother is late to my house? She said she just pulled up. Well, she is still late. Savon, you set this up. If this lady dies today, that's on you. Mama, no one is dying today. Good afternoon, Miss Marisol. I hope you're having a wonderful day. My son spoke to you, Marikandra. It's Marisol. Whatever it is, I needed to respond to my son. Why are me and my daughter here, Tamika's son? I started all of this. We can see that. Tell me something I don't know. <sighs> yes, breathe in, breathe out, and stay alive. What I'm trying to say is... I haven't made the best decisions, and I'm sorry that I brought your daughter into this. So what are you going to do about it? All I'm hearing is you apologizing for shit that you cannot change. It's here. It's happening. In two more months, my daughter's giving birth. What are you going to do about it? Well, if you let him finish. Oh, he wasn't finished? Tell him to stop pausing in between sentences and get to the point. Savon, I should have been jumped over this counter. Do get to the point. I recently got a job, and if this baby is mine... Mm -hmm. I, I don't like that if. Because you're making it sound like my daughter's some kind of whore. Ella nunca la hera. Ma'am, you can't expect me not to take a DNA test. Me and Carmen were never together. Mira, nosotras estamos enamorados. English. This is an American household. Well, English is not her first language. Punta. Okay, before I mop my marble floors with her ass, Carmen, I need you to translate because I'm pretty sure she just called me a bitch. She didn't. Uh, no, me and Jess got him in. Get hell of a husband. The bottom line is, if this baby is mine, I will step up and be a father. And if it's not, I want an apology from both you bitches. In English. Well, you ain't getting shit. Baco te coma ta shit. Mira, mira, puta. Mira, queso, queso, queso. Which one of you bitches gonna step around the counter? Huh? Which one? Matter of fact, hold on. Come on. Go and access my safe. The passcode is your birthday. Savan, I need you to watch the baby tomorrow. I have things to do. So, Mom, when do you usually get the baby? On weekends. Oh, okay. What's today? Monday. Oh, okay. He's off duty. Come back on Saturday. Tammy, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to Savon. Mm, Versace, you were only two years into motherhood. I would hate for Louis Vuitton to lose his mother because she forgot who she is talking to. It's Louis Vuitton. Either way, you can't afford none of the merchandise. What do you have to do? Oh, hell no. You full of shit. He's off the clock. Find a babysitter. Oh, my God. I can't wait till Tamika come back because she would have made you watch him. You restricted me to weekends only. You did that. So stand on that. But go stand on it outside of the house. Get out. I ain't standing nowhere. Grandma. 
Brian? Can you please put your homophobe aside and meet Trenton? So Brian, who is that? The boyfriend. Oh, no, I can't do that. Mm -mm. Hello, my babies. Grandma Pam, what are you doing here? Well, I just came to make sure my grandbabies were okay. I heard the disturbing news that your mother decided to take a break from her responsibilities and that she left you in the care of a complete maniac. Pamela, don't die today. It's Monday. What can I help you with? I want the boys with their father every weekend. Mm, and I want a man who's tall, dark, and handsome with nine inches and a curve, but I cannot have that. Oh, this is why I question Tamika and her decisions because why wouldn't she call me? Why would she leave them with you? Because I'm her mama. And did you forget that your son let his wife sleep with my grandson and then bribe my other grandchild not to tell? What kind of grandmother would I be letting them go back to that house with that horny white woman? It was an isolated incident and my son handled it. However, I do share your concern. So the boys can come stay with me. I would actually love that. Take it back. Take it back. What, Grandma? You haven't let me see Trenton since you got here. You haven't seen Trenton? Tammy, are you depriving my grandchild of his healthy relationship with his boyfriend? This is an abomination. What? What happened? Fine. I will meet that little boy who also has sugar in his tank. I'm fine where I'm at, Grandma Pam. I will be checking in daily. And you will be getting cussed out daily. Where is Kyrie? Who is that? Oh shit, that's the other one. Uh, where y'all brother at? Grandma, Kyrie made you drop him off somewhere two weeks ago and we ain't seen him since. Wait a minute! You haven't seen my 16 year old grandbaby in two weeks? And you haven't bothered to check on him? And you don't even know where you left him? Pamela! Bitch, you know who you yelling at, all right? Now, you ain't making very much safe decisions right now. You better find him or I'm calling Tamika. What is that supposed to mean? I ain't scared of her. I gave birth to her. What the hell I look like being scared of something I gave birth to? The hell? Pam, get your ass out of here. You heard what the hell I said. Find my grandma. No, baby. you heard what the fuck I said. Shit. Go find Kyrie. So, Kendrick, you said you are in the military? Yeah. I did two years. And I retired as an E7. Kendrick, your ass ain't retired as no E7. You said you only did two years, so that means that ass ain't even made it to first class yet. Brian, please. The adults are talking. My grandma says you don't even pass your ASVAB test. <laughs> Tammy didn't even finish high school. I'm surprised she even knows what an ASVAB test is. I want to see you say that to her face next time you see her. Okay, I will. I will. Anyway, it's beautiful. Why do you call yourself Versace? Because I love the brand Versace. But cannot afford the brand Versace. You know, I actually own a couple products from Versace. Did you fully purchase them or did you finance them in one of our aunties or uncles' name? I'd like to see some. Okay. Um, let me text you my um, website and you can make a purchase from there. Kendrick, you are a fucking fraud. Hey, 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 Brian Jackson, watch your mouth. Ma, Kendrick is in here trying to scam Versace. Cousin, you know I own an online boutique. You seem to own a lot of things that are not in your name. What's going on, family? What's up, Brian? What's up, Ma? What's up, uh, what's your name? I think I got you pregnant. And never mind, it's not important. What's up, mama? Savon, is that something I can help you with? No, life's great. I'm living with Grandma Pam and I'm making so much money. I actually came here because I have to help you with something. Uh, Brian, is this the scammer you were telling me about? Yes, he's the fraud. My name is Kendrick and I'm your older cousin. It's nice to meet you, Savon. Mm. Mama, what all do you know about this failed replacement of mine? He helps pay bills. He helps out around the house. Besides all that weak ass shit, what else do you know about him? Savon, I don't know why you are here, but you know where you're at and who you're talking to. So start watching your damn mouth. How about you start watching who you bring into your house, Tamika? I've been doing that, which is exactly why your ass is no longer here. Now get your ass out of my house. Oh, well, speaking of your house, 
I thought that you should know that there's a house on Airbnb that looks mighty similar to this one. What the hell are you talking about, Savon? The host, his name is Kendrick. And this Kendrick. And the reviews that he has states that he cancels reservations before the check-in date. Kendrick, what the hell is this? Uh, it's a way for me and you to make some money, cousin. Kendrick, I don't want to hear that shit. Why the hell is my damn house on Airbnb? Uh, cousin, it's a good business venture. And I was going to give you 20% of whatever I made. 20? You know, you were always my favorite cousin. The law states that you have to give a tenant 30 days before you evict them. Oh, mama just gave me the word and I would drag his ass out of here. Yes, mama, please. Can we put our hands on him? I got this. Kendrick, I should have saw your scamming ass coming from a mile away. But because your daddy died, I felt sorry for you, which is why I took you in. But you know what? He would be so disappointed in you right now. So this is me still being lenient to your ass. You have until the end of the week to get your stuff and find somewhere to go. I have 30 days to get out of your house. And if I get touched by one of your sons during those 30 days, my lawyer is going to have a field day. Now I'm going to go upstairs to my room and I will take your house off of Airbnb. And Versace, if you want that website, just let me know. Fuck. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Savannah, go beat him up. I'm too cute to go to jail. Mama, I promise you, ain't nobody going to find the body. Let me handle it. Stop. I got this. Let mama handle it. I know exactly what I'm going to do. This house is too crowded. I need Shay, Greg, and Kendrick gone. I don't know, I kinda like Shay being here. Yeah, so you can hit it whenever you like. Exactly. Mama is losing control of this house and I don't ever think she'll get it back on her own. What he's just. We killed three birds with one stone. How? Kendrick! What are you doing? Killing three birds with one stone. Kendrick is one of the birds. And he will be the stone who takes out himself and the other two. Trust me. Look, I know y'all probably mad because your mama told me I could stay an extra three weeks, but y'all just want to get over it. Kendrick, how would you like to stay here forever? I mean, I wouldn't mind. Good. We can make that happen. All you have to do is help us get rid of Greg and his daughter. <laughs> okay, how? I need you to find a way to take thousands of dollars out of my mama's account and then find a way for it to end up in Greg's possession. So it looks like he stole it and not me. <laughs> exactly. So what do you say? I like the way you think, Kyrie. I can tell we're related. <laughs> All right, um, I have to think of a way to make Greg think he won some money with one of my scamming businesses, but I'm sure he'll go for it. Of course he will. All right, I'll get started and um, thank y'all. I really appreciate it. Great. <clears throat> I'm still missing how Kendrick gets in trouble. Greg is low-key scared of Mama. Once confronted, he'll tell her that Kendrick is the one who gave him the money. But then Greg will be out of trouble. Kendrick will lie. Mama will lose her shit and kick all of them out. Hmm. 
It's worth a shot, indeed. Good thinking, Kyrie. Not that I give a fuck, but what's wrong with you? Leave me the fuck alone. Oh, I can't. I won't. And now I gotta bother you. Kyrie, I'm in the mood to beat somebody's ass. Oh, well, that's great because I'm in the mood to watch you try. And when I knock your ass out, don't tell mama. Okay, come on. Let me see what you got. Kyrie, I am not in the mood. But you said you were in the mood and now all of a sudden you're not in the mood. But that's beside the point because I'm in the mood to see you try and beat somebody's ass. What's good? Me and Trenton just broke up. Oh, damn. Oh, so you'll tell Savon what's going on, but you don't want to tell me what's going on? Kyrie, if you have not noticed by now, I do not like you. You also can't whoop my ass. Kyrie, relax. Oh, so you ain't gonna try Savon, but she'll try me? Well, see, all I gotta do is ask Savon one time to come whoop my ass, and he gonna do that. You, on the other hand, have yet to put your hands on me. All you've done this whole time is talk, which lets me know that you are a bitch. I fought you a couple times. You fight like a bitch. I ain't scared of you. Get up, Kyrie. Get up, because all you do is fucking Brian, 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 what? My mom tired of his mouth. Who the hell are you yelling at? Sit down. Somebody explain to me why y'all are fighting in my kitchen. Mama, he, he just attacked me out of nowhere. Mama, Kyrie keeps annoying me. So ignore him. Mama, how about you simply tell him to stop annoying us and he wouldn't get beat up? Look at his face. Uh, Brian, you didn't even connect. You can't fight. I don't want to hear that shit. I have talked to y'all about putting your hands on each other. I don't like it. Why the hell is it happening to my damn kitchen? Mom, me and Trenton just broke up. I'm in my feelings right now, and I was in here minding my business, and Kyrie just came in here and made it worse. So forgive me if I put my hands on your precious gift from God because he or you can't control his mouth. Learn how to control yours before I bust it open. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm not a relationship expert, but relationships end. You move on, and another one begins. Brian, you are headed into your senior year in high school, something Savon failed to do. Mom, I ain't got nothing to do with this. I would not have my second born making the same mistake. Now, you will experience more relationships in life. You are young, but unfortunately, this one was not it. Now, apologize to your brother. I'm sorry that your mouth got you beat up and I'll do it again. Mama, mama, that wasn't no apology. Mama, he didn't apologize. Mama, he didn't apologize. Shut up, boy. Where you been at, boy? Grandma, you left me at the casino in Las Vegas three weeks ago. I had to call my mama to come get me. Now you a damn lie. I didn't go to no casino. I dropped you off at one of your little friend's house and you ain't never came back. Tamika, who you gonna believe? Me or Kyrie, who lies every time he opens his mouth? You incompetent, selfish, irresponsible, disappointing, lying ass. Now, wait a minute now. I'm still your mama. And you have sucked at it ever since I was a child. I was a fool to leave my kids with you. Mika, I wasn't in no damn Las Vegas. Kyrie was. So how the hell did he get there? Oh, shit. I, I don't know. Kyrie, how did you get to Vegas? Grandma, now you know I love you and I know I'm your favorite, but I found it hard to believe that you don't remember. 
your friend Carla. Remember, it was her birthday. You didn't wanna, you didn't wanna miss it, but you don't wanna leave me at home alone with Brian and Savon. So you took me with you, but then you forgot about me the next morning, and left me at the Airbnb. I had to call my mama, and I've been with her ever since. You left Brian and Savon alone. Brian, how were you getting to school? Oh, grandma took me out for a week until she got back. So you took my child out of school for a week without my authorization. How was he gonna get to school if I was supposedly in Las Vegas, Tamika? And I don't like how you talking to me right now because you damn sure can't whoop my ass. I'm your mama, okay? So instead of you complaining, say thank you for me watching your kids while you wanted to go have a mental break. Thank you. Thank you for showing me that to this day, you are still a sorry ass excuse for a mother and a grandmother. Oh, and another thing, whose black Mercedes is that parked outside of my driveway? Mine. Hmm. You have an estimate of $5,000 left in your bank account. So who did you screw to get that Mercedes? None of your damn business, girl. Mind your business. Hmm. And you, you haven't been asking me for any money or Savon. Why is that? I got a raise at work. You work at Rainbow. You and them rainbow bitches get paid $4 an hour and you're part-time. So unless you're taking cash out of the register, you a damn lie. Okay. I cannot put two and two together right now, but I will. And for y'all's sake, I hope there are no more surprises. Savon, Carmen is getting induced this weekend, so make sure you are at that hospital for your second child. Yes, ma'am. Is there something you want to say? No, she good. When did you start speaking for her? Tanika, you are so ungrateful. I took care of you, your brothers, and your sisters the best way I could. And y'all are still alive and breathing today. Your kids are alive and breathing today. I might not have been the best mother or grandmother, but I did the best I could with what I was given. Are you done? Or is there more you'd like to bitch about? You left my 16-year-old son in a state where he could have been God knows what if I didn't show up on time. So I don't give a damn about your struggles as a mother and what it turned you into. You know what, you disrespectful heifer. I'll let myself out. And stay out. I will. Oh, bougie ass. I can't believe I gave birth to your selfish ass. You don't treat your mama like this. You also don't leave your teenage daughters home alone with the man that you've only been married to for three months and barely knew. But you did. Oh, you know what? I'm tired of hearing that shit, okay? You waited until you were damn near 41 years old to cry about it. That man is dead now. Ain't nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Get out of my house and take your sidekick with you. Gladly. Come on, Versace. Well, I'm glad to have you back, Mom. Glad to be back. And y'all will never leave my sight after today. Oh, hell no. Nah. How's everyone doing this evening? Oh, I see. Let's all ignore Kendrick, right? Kyrie, do you hear something? I thought I heard a scamming ass bitch talking. 
But it was just my imagination. Kyrie, watch your mouth. Cousin, are you cooking today? No, I am not. Mom, I took the chicken out of the refrigerator for the chicken Alfredo that you said you were going to make me, Kyrie, Savan, and not Kendrick. Thank you, son. I appreciate it. So I guess I'm just supposed to starve? The last time I checked, you were a grown-ass man who was capable of taking care of himself. The food I have in this house is for my children only. The food that I help put in your house? Kendrick, I will fuck you up. My house that you put on Airbnb and I still haven't sued your ass for it? Yes, we gonna eat all the food you help put in this bitch and you ain't getting none of it. Watch your damn mouth, Kendrick. Mom, can I use the vacuum to clear my room? Your room? Savan, you weren't supposed to move in until I move out. Who told you that you can start making decisions regarding who lives in my house, Kendrick? Well, if he moves back in, then where do I sleep? On the couch, in the loft. My daddy would be so disappointed in you. Your me. sister said that exact same bullshit. That shit don't faze me. You have two more weeks in my house. I suggest you start looking for another place to scam. I'm sorry, another place to live. Brian, Savon, help me. I don't know anything about this. Yeah, mama, I ain't got nothing to do with this. Oh, y'all got me fucked up. I told Kendrick to take the money out of your account and put it in Greg's account so when you found out, you would go batshit crazy and kick both of them out. What? <laughs> but the money is in your account. Because you put it there, bitch. Kyrie, you better start making some damn sense right now. Okay, mama, I'll make it make sense. Kendrick stole that $5,000 out of your account. Savon and Shay are still sleeping together. Greg has his mommy in your room when you're at work doing God knows what. And Brian, oh, Brian. You ain't got nothing. Has a bunch of ecstasy pills that he bought from Kendrick. Kendrick is also a drug dealer. Checkmate, motherfuckers. Greg, get your shit and your daughter and get out of my house. Baby, me and my mama just cuddled. That's all. We ain't do nothing. Get out, you sick fuck! Kendrick! Cousin, he is lying. I don't want to hear that shit. Your ass is going to jail today. Brian! I'm grounded for life. Savon! Mama, what did you expect? <laughs> I got what I wanted, and I brought everybody down with me. You can ground me for eternity. I'm good. Great. Everybody get the fuck out of my face, and by the end of this business day, it better just be me and the three kids I gave birth to in this house. I want an apology. You ain't getting shit. Apology for what? Tamika, I am your mother. Yes, you are. What do you want? You want to be friends? You want to comb each other's hair? You want, to, you want me to be nice to you? You laid down and had six kids. It gave you a title. It does not mean anything. Okay, that's cute. You brought me over here because you thought that you and Savon was going to check me about the deal I made with Marisol, but I was going to drain her pockets, and then I was going to tell you when I was done with her. Oh, you are so full of it. You wasn't going to tell me shit, mama. Grandma, then you paid my baby mama to go along with it. And that little bitch owed me $5,000. Owed? As in past tense? So she paid you back? I took another form of payment from her. Anyway, Savan, have you talked to her? I got this weird call from her mom this morning. I haven't talked to her in a week. I called her the other day, but she didn't answer the phone. What did her mama say? Hmm. She dropped the baby off a week ago and has not been back to pick him up, and she's not answering the phone. I don't suppose you've seen her? Who, me? 
Oh, no. But I did hear that there was a drive-by shooting in her neighborhood last week. One casualty. What? Grandma, why didn't you tell us? I was too busy trying to hide from y'all because y'all thought y'all was finna corner me and shit. Ma, 19-year-old girl was shot in her driveway and taken to the hospital in critical condition. Critical condition? What you mean? So she ain't dead? Ma, we gotta go. Okay, let me grab my keys. No! Mama, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Mama, I'm about to dip. I'll keep you posted. Savannah, no. That girl is in critical condition. I might be dying and you might not see me again. That's my son's mother, Grandma. I hope you feel better, though. You ain't gonna go follow him? He said he'll keep me updated. How are those chest pains? Okay, look, I'm gonna just tell you what happened. After you had busted Maricel, she called me and said that she was gonna pop Versace and then pop me if I didn't go with her to watch. She mentioned that her granddaddy was, you know, the lord of the Mexican drug cartel, whatever, and I just, I got scared. So, I felt like she was going to kill me if I didn't go with her. So, if Versace says she saw me there, it's because I was forced into the car to go and watch them pop her. Mama, I've known you my whole life. I have watched you take out two of my daddy's wives. Because you're a real hood bitch, right? So, you mean to tell me that you are sitting here today saying that somebody forced you into a car? to go pull up on somebody. And you ain't pulled the trigger, somebody else did. Oh my God, I was hoping I was right. What can I do for you? I wonder how a ghetto hood rat bitch like yourself was able to obtain a house of this magnitude. Let alone be allowed to live in this neighborhood with people who are far more superior than you. See, the old me would have slaughtered you before you could even fix your mouth to say something. But I am in such a good place in life that not even my ex-husband's white whore could upset me. I am a very rich housewife who wants for nothing in this life. No, just a new nose or breast or ass. Hm. Your pimp daddy must have gotten you this house. Did I see you shopping in luxuries and beyond the other day? You can't even afford a sample in that store. What are you doing in there? Well, effective this past Monday, I am the new store manager. I'm there five days a week. You're the store manager? How are you the store manager? And what happened to Beth, who's been the store manager for the last 14 years? Karen, effective today, you are now banned from my store. You are not allowed on the premises. And if you are seen, the local authorities will be notified. You will fix your vocabulary. You cannot speak like that to a superior white woman such as myself, let alone ban me from a store that I've done nothing wrong in. Well, you came to the home of the store manager and threatened me. I do not feel safe with you in my store. And I will explain that to the police. <gasps> Just call me the Black Karen. I have spent thousands in that store. And while we do appreciate you spending your husband's money in our store, you will not be missed. And there will be other customers who will spend just as more. Oh 
God, you are so ugly with wrinkles. I thought you got Botox. You bitch! I came in here to tell you that I have something in my home that belongs to you. Oh, Karen, Michael does not belong to me anymore. I mean, yes, he has cheated on you several times with me, and he was even sweet enough to pay off my last house with your children's trust fund. He did what? Wiped their little futures completely out. I mean, there's not even a dime left for them. You are so Savan was seen at my best friend's homeless shelter and I went to pick him up and now he's living in my home. Mama, um, if I saw something at dad's house that made me uncomfortable, but I don't want you to go to jail, what do I do? What the fuck do you mean made you uncomfortable? Did somebody touch you, Brian? No, no, nobody touched me. Then what the hell happened? Because I will kill your father and everything that moves in his house. Boy, open your mouth and tell me what happened. Ma, you're scaring me and I don't want to be responsible for somebody dying. Brian, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You... Gentle parenting activated. Baby, you need to tell mama what happened, okay? It's gonna be okay. You are not in any trouble, but you need to tell me what happened so I can take care of it. Okay? I saw my dad with another woman. Wait, 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 wait. So you saw another woman in your dad's house? Yeah, yeah. Oh, baby, Brian. <laughs> your daddy has cheated on me multiple times. I know y'all have seen a hundred women in my house, okay? That ain't nothing new. Your daddy is a dog, okay? And there's nothing you or me can do about it. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. But it's Karen. We don't care about Karen. Let him cheat on Karen. He ain't cheating on your mama, and that's all that matters. <laughs> oh my god Brian you had me worried you had me thinking Karen had touched you or something <laughs> because then I have to go see her and then I have to beat that bitch down no then I have to put that bitch six feet under because she better never put her hands on my motherfucking kids ever <laughs> what <laughs> it's just your daddy cheating on her boy I don't care about that Hmm. What are you working on? Homework. Oh, that sounds terrible. So I went to dad's house the other day. But he wasn't there. It was just Karen Savon. How'd that go? I'm pretty sure they're sleeping together. I just have to figure out a way to tell mama and throw you under the bus too. Kyrie, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever you tell mama is on you. I know how to deny it. Hmm. You can deny it, but then I'll tell dad that you tell mama that he was cheating on Karen. And you can't deny that because mama heard it too. <laughs> what do you want? It's not about what I want. It's about what I need and I need to see violence. So I'm gonna tell mama. I will literally give you anything. I'm sure you would, but I must warn you, Karen already paid me $5,000 to keep my mouth shut and I'm still telling mama. So if I scammed her, what makes you think I want to scam you? So let me get this straight. You let Karen pay you $5,000 just so you can keep your mouth shut? I did.
Y'all know keeping secrets from me is dangerous, so go ahead and spit it out. Mama Karen is sleeping with Savon. She also paid Kyrie $5,000 to keep his mouth shut. And I know this because Kyrie just told me. Well played. Well played. You said that Karen is sleeping with Savon? That's what Kyrie said. Does your father know? Leave it alone. Mama! Savon can't come back here. He has not apologized yet. And if I tell his father, he will be kicked out and left on the street. Mom, this is an opportunity to let Savon come back here. Hell no! Especially since he done slept with that snow demon. He can stay his ass right there. As for Karen, she will be handled. Oh, Mama, how will she be handled? And may I watch? You may hand me your entire freedom along with that $5,000 and get the fuck out of my face. Well played. Because that is definitely some shit I would have did to you. Bye, Kyrie! I'm gone. Mama, how are you not mad at Karen? Brian, look, I know you miss your brother, but Savan is grown and has put me through enough, okay? He clearly is trying to get back at me. And I'm not going to let him. Instead of me reacting, I am choosing not to respond. Something I have never done before. Now, had it been y'all, oh, then me and that bitch got a problem. She paid Kyrie $5,000. So now me and that bitch got a problem. And she will have to see me. But as for Savon, I am not addressing him because that's what he wants. That bitch got my ex-husband and now she got my son. And I am choosing not to react. Pat a bitch on the back. So Kendrick, you said you're in the military? Yeah. I did two years. And I retired as an E7. Kendrick, your ass ain't retired as no E7. You said you only did two years. So that means that ass ain't even made it to first class yet. Brian, please. The adults are talking. My grandma says you don't even pass your ASVAB test. <laughs> Tammy didn't even finish high school. I'm surprised she even knows what an ASVAB test is. I want to see you say that to her face next time you see her. Okay, I will. I will. Anyway, it's beautiful. Why do you call yourself Versace? Because I love the brand Versace. But cannot afford the brand Versace. You know, I actually own a couple products from Versace. Did you fully purchase them or did you finance them in one of our aunties or uncles' name? I'd like to see some. Okay. Um, let me text you my um, website and you can make a purchase from there. Kendrick, you are a fucking fraud. Hey, 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 Brian Jackson, watch your mouth. Ma, Kendrick is in here trying to scam Versace. Cousin, you know I own an online boutique. You seem to own a lot of things that are not in your name. What's going on, family? What's up, Brian? What's up, Ma? What's up, uh... What's your name? I think I got you pregnant. And never mind, it's not important. What's up, Mama? What's up, Mom? Is that something I can help you with? No, life's great. I'm living with Grandma Pam and I'm making so much money. I actually came here because I have to help you with something. Uh, Brian, is this the scammer you were telling me about? Yes, he's the fraud. My name is Kendrick and I'm your older cousin. It's nice to meet you, Savon. Mm. Mama, what all do you know about this failed replacement of mine? He helps pay bills. 
He helps out around the house. Besides all that weak ass shit, what else do you know about him? Savon, I don't know why you are here, but you know where you're at and who you're talking to. So start watching your damn mouth. How about you start watching who you bring into your house, Tamika? I've been doing that, which is exactly why your ass is no longer here. Now get your ass out of my house. Oh, well, speaking of your house, I thought that you should know that there's a house on Airbnb that looks mighty similar to this one. What the hell are you talking about, Savon? The host? His name is Kendrick. And this Kendrick. And the reviews that he has states that he cancels reservations before the check-in date. Kendrick, what the hell is this? Uh, it's a way for me and you to make some money, cousin. Kendrick! I don't want to hear that shit. Why the hell is my damn house on Airbnb? Uh, cousin, it's a good business venture. And I was going to give you 20% of whatever I made. 20? Oh, you done lost your damn... Get your ass out of my house. <laughs> you know, you were always my favorite cousin. The law states that you have to give a tenant 30 days before you evict them. Oh, mama just gave me the word and I would drag his ass out of here. Yes, mama, please. Can we put our hands on him? I got this. Kendrick, I should have saw your scamming ass coming from a mile away. But because your daddy died, I felt sorry for you, which is why I took you in. But you know what? He would be so disappointed in you right now. So this is me still being lenient to your ass. You have until the end of the week to get your stuff and find somewhere to go. I have 30 days to get out of your house. And if I get touched by one of your sons during those 30 days, my lawyer is going to have a field day. Now I'm going to go upstairs to my room and I will take your house off of Airbnb. And Versace, if you want that website, just let me know. Fuck. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Savannah, go beat him up. I'm too cute to go to jail. Mama, I promise you, ain't nobody going to find the body. Let me handle it. Stop. I got this. Let mama handle it. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Kyrie, the next time you want to go and run your mouth to your daddy about shit that I say in my motherfucking house, make sure you go pack your bags and go stay with him. You can't get mad at me for something I told my daddy. I told y'all to leave it alone and you still went and tested it. Yeah, after you grounded me and took $5,000 from me, I was upset and decided to call my dad and tell him about what I experienced. Kyrie, I'm not about to go back and forth with you. I ain't whipped your ass in a hot ass minute, but please understand that I will go back to putting my hands on you. What happened to gentle parenting, Tamika? I don't have the desire to be gentle with your ass. You want to continue to have a slick ass mouth? Then it's going to stay rough around here. What you got? So that New Year's Eve party you let me go to, I was, I was drinking. I took some shots. <laughs> that ass is grass. And I smoked out the hookah. Mama, just go ahead and take my entire freedom away. Oh, yeah, go ahead and kill him, mama. Um, okay. 
how many shots did you take and how many times did you hit the hookah? Um, I took three shots and only hit the hookah like twice. What's three plus two? Five? You're grounded for five months. Please do not engage in shit that you have no business engaging in at the age of 17, or I will have to engage in that ass a little more aggressively next time. Yes, ma'am, it won't happen again. See that it doesn't. Gentle parenting. See, that's that's that favoritism because Kyrie gets threatened all the time and grounded for a year. Because Kyrie is a different type of child that requires a more heavy approach of parenting. Come approach then, mama. Come approach. Come heavy. Get your ass out of my motherfucking kitchen. How's everyone doing this evening? Oh, I see. Let's all ignore Kendrick, right? Kyrie, do you hear something? I thought I heard a scamming ass bitch talking. But it was just my imagination. Kyrie, watch your mouth. Cousin, are you cooking today? No, I am not. Mom, I took the chicken out of the refrigerator for the chicken Alfredo that you said you were gonna make me, Kyrie, Savan, and not Kendrick. Thank you, son. I appreciate it. So I guess I'm just supposed to starve? The last time I checked, you were a grown-ass man who was capable of taking care of himself. The food I have in this house is for my children only. The food that I help put in your house? Kendrick, I will fuck you up. My house that you put on Airbnb and I still haven't sued your ass for it? Yes, we are gonna eat all the food you help put in this bitch and you ain't getting none of it. Watch your damn mouth, Kendrick. Mom, can I use the vacuum to clear my room? Your room? Savan, you weren't supposed to move in until I move out. Who told you that you can start making decisions regarding who lives in my house, Kendrick? Well, if he moves back in, then where do I sleep? On the couch, in the loft. My daddy would be so disappointed in you. Your me. sister said that exact same bullshit. That shit don't faze me. You have two more weeks in my house. I suggest you start looking for another place to scam. I'm sorry, another place to live. Why do I have a parent-teacher conference tomorrow morning, Kyrie? Because these teachers don't know how to watch their mouth. What did you do? It's always, what did Kyrie do? It's never, what did they do for Kyrie to do what he did? <laughs> you know what? When I was in school, let my mama get a phone call about me acting up. She would tear my ass up. <laughs> Shut up. No one is talking to you. It says here, Ms. Jackson, Kyrie continues to be disrespectful in my class. I asked him to put his desk outside of the classroom and he refused to do so. Instead, he grabbed my desk and put it in the hallway and told me to go sit and think about the way I speak to him. I'm going to try this gentle parenting bullshit. I believe I just bought you the game God of War, correct? You did. And as soon as you're done, I'm going to go play it. No, you're not. You're going to go sit in your room. No TV, no phone, no PS5. Just white walls and silence. As for the game I just bought you, um, I believe I still have my receipt, so I will be returning it. Gentle parenting. You know what, Kyrie? Humbly speaking, you can learn a lot from me. Kendrick, arrogantly speaking, I still have both parents in my life, so I don't need shit from you. Kyrie! What is wrong with you? Apologize now! Yes, ma'am. 
Kendrick, I am not sorry. You know what? There goes your PS5. I'll be donating that. And now you have to figure out a way to get a new one. And don't even think about asking your grandmothers. Kendrick, I'm so sorry. You wanna go outside and talk? I, I just need a few minutes alone. When he comes back in here, you better apologize or you will never see the light of day. Mm -hmm. What happened to gentle parenting? <laughs> gentle parenting is not compatible with my sons. Y'all seem to only listen when I'm being hostile and assaultive. Mama, um, if I saw something at dad's house that made me uncomfortable, but I don't want you to go to jail, what do I do? What the fuck do you mean made you uncomfortable? Did somebody touch you, Brian? No, no, nobody touched me. Kendrick, I am so glad to have you stay here, and I'm really sorry about Uncle Teddy. It's okay, cousin. And thanks for letting me stay here. I know he wouldn't want me anywhere else. Now... I do have a few house rules, though. One of them is to stay out of my way or you'll find yourself strapped to the highway. Boy, I used to lock you in the closet when you were little and you used to cry for your mama. <laughs> try locking me in one now. I wanna see you try. You were saying, Cousin Tamika. All I ask is you respect my house. And Kyrie. Yes, ma'am, I got it. But I'll just be going to work and back. I don't really do nothing. Oh, you have a job? Yes, and I plan on paying my way while I'm here. Wow. If only my oldest thought like you. Where is Savon? Out of sight, out of mind where you will find yourself if you mess with me. Kyrie, enough. Mama, can I talk to you? I am not approachable at this moment. This is my cousin Kendrick. He'll be staying here with us for a while. Damn, Brian, you didn't got big. And where would he be sleeping? Well, I figured since I just finished out cleaning Savon's room, I- Put my brother's stuff back in his room. Who the fuck are you yelling at, Brian? You, mama. I'm sorry, but you can't sleep in my brother's room. Uh, that's fine. I don't want no problems, cousin. I'll sleep on the couch. Boy, my mama don't even like people sitting on her couch. What makes you think she gonna let you sleep on her couch? No, it's fine. This is my damn house. Kendrick, that room is yours. <sighs> and by the way, Kendrick has a job, no kids, and it's gonna help me pay bills. Something that Savon didn't do. So if you want your brother's stuff, it's over there in the garage. You can have it. Put it in your room. You know what? You're the worst. The way you handled me that night. You know what, Brian? I want you to help me parent. Tell me how to parent. You have snuck out of my house several times to see that boy. You have lied to me several times to see that boy. Tell me, how do I discipline you? Help me. Well, for starters, maybe if you didn't deprive me of my relationship with him, then I wouldn't have to lie and sneak to see him. I am not having this conversation in front of Kendrick. It's not Kendrick. It's you having to face the fact that you're a homophobic asshole of a mother. If that's what helps you sleep at night, then I'll be that homophobic bitch of a mother. Wow. I allowed you to see Trenton. I allowed him to see you. I allowed you to be gay comfortably in my house. I allowed Trenton to be in my house. I wasn't a homophobic asshole then, was I? No, it's only when I discipline you, then I become a monster.
Now, Brian, you have not seen the surface of homophobic. And that is because I am protecting you from it. Do I understand your sexuality? No, but I love you. I accept you and I am proud of you, whether you believe it or not. There are worse parents than me. And at the end of the day, you are still a child. You are my child. You are my responsibility and you live in my damn house. So you will follow my rules and do as I say. Or there's the door. Now, can you show Kendrick to his new room? Mama, but Savon is gone. He's gone, Brian. Do I like it? No. Do I want him gone? No. But how many times do I allow him to disrespect me in my house? My bed, Brian? Have you intrinsically been in my bed? No. No. He went a little too far. Some things I will not tolerate. Some things I will not allow. That was beyond disrespectful. He's gone. Hey, cousin, I cleaned the kitchen for you. Curry, I thought I told you to clean the kitchen. Mama, I thought it didn't matter who cleaned the kitchen as long as it got done. I mean, that's what you tell me, Brian and Savon. Oh, it's, it's not a problem, cuz. I just wanted to help out around the house. Kendrick, I would tell my mama what's a problem and what is not. <laughs> Curry, you do know that technically I am an adult. Kendrick, you do know that male, female, infant, child, adult, senior citizen, or unicorn, I will still fight you? Enough! Kendrick, thank you for cleaning the kitchen. What do you want for dinner? You know what? Whatever Kyrie wants for dinner. I want seafood. Do you have seafood money? You got BD money and you make $87,000 a year. You got seafood from the Pacific Ocean money. What is BD money? You still get child support for me and Brian. <laughs> you know what, cuz? We can eat some tomato soup. I saw a few cans in the cabinet. Well, that's too damn bad because all four of those cans are Savans and he's not here, so they will not be touched. You know, I really don't care about this tomato soup situation. Mama, Kendrick, Mama, I already said what I wanted to eat, so why is that being disregarded? You're right. Your brother is gone. But this is my damn house. And everything in this house, I bought. Including that tomato soup that we will be eating for dinner. And Kyrie, start watching your damn mouth when you talk to me. You clearly are watching it for me, so why do I? Kyrie, say something else smart. Try it. Not only am I going to knock you dead in your shit, but I'm going to send you to live with your grandmother. Which one? Tammy. Tamika, I hope you don't mind I let myself in. As a matter of fact, I do mind, Pam. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Start locking your door. I just left my son's house and I saw my oldest grandchild is there. He told me that you kicked him out. Before you start, how are my Bryant and Kyrie doing? I'm fine, Grandma. Kyrie. Grandma, I've been instructed not to speak or I will be sent to live in the projects. So you're just kicking all my grandkids out, huh? You know what, Pam? <laughs> I am getting real sick and tired of everybody thinking they can keep disrespecting me. If you are sick, seek medical attention. If you are tired, find somewhere to rest. I will not be questioned in my own home. Savon stole my credit card and brought a girl into my bedroom. Not that what goes on in my house is any of your damn business, but one can only take so much, Pam. I much rather kick him out than put my hands on him. And the same thing goes for Kyrie's disrespectful ass. Kyrie, from this point on, you would not disrespect your mother or I will cancel your PlayStation Plus membership. I turned that shit off three months ago. So you mean to tell me you went behind my back and went to your grandmother and got her to turn it back on? I was not aware. Of course you weren't. Just like you weren't aware of the reason Savon got kicked out. I have raised these kids by myself without the help from your son or you. Nobody's going to tell me how to raise my damn kids. Now cancel his damn PlayStation membership.
Oh my God, you have missed a lot. Mama moved her cousin in your room. What cousin? Her cousin, Kendrick. Who was that? Exactly. And I told her, don't get too comfortable with him being here because Savon will be back. Savon, don't play with me. I need you back in that house. I like it here at dad's house, I ain't gonna lie. With Karen? <laughs> I mean, she really ain't that bad once you get inside of her. What? Once you get to know her. She really ain't that bad once you get to know her. Oh, okay. So the heart. Karen. Bren. Brian. Whatever it is, it's from the ghetto. Brian is an American name, you trailer park built ass bitch. Why do all blacks think us superiors came from a trailer park? I personally have never seen the inside of a trailer. Good for you. Brian, it's Sunday, shouldn't you be headed home? My father, you know, the one that is financing you, will be dropping me off. Now, if you excuse me, I was talking to my brother. Savon, you need to come back home. Mama misses you. No, she doesn't! Do not feed him those lies! Savon, you wouldn't leave me, would you? I'm not leaving. <sighs> oh, hell no. Savon, are you sleeping with her? No! I'm not. Let me find out, Savon, and I'm telling mama. And what is she gonna do? Five beatdowns later, and you are still asking what my mama is going to do. Are you sure you want to know? Why are you here, Kyrie? Brian's recent behavior has made me curious as to what he has seen here at dad's house. What did he say he saw? I never said he saw anything, Savon. Is there something that you think he saw? Curry, shut up. Your mind tricks don't work on me. Nothing happened here. Ah, so he did lie to mama. Lied to her about what? He said that he saw dad cheating on Karen. But from his facial expression and your facial expression, I can tell that he was lying. Okay, quick. Your dad said he got stuck in a meeting and the boys decided to stay the night at a friend's house. Oh, fuck. Uh, Kyrie! Now is not a good time. Oh, it seems like now is a good time for the both of you. I don't know what you're insinuating, but I don't like it. You two enjoy the rest of your day. No, wait, where are you going? Home. I'm going home to our beautiful mother. No, hell no, Kyrie, stay, we need to talk. Uh, Vani. Vani. Let him go. Yo, Karen, do me a favor, shut up. Go comb your hair. Why? It's just going to get messed up again. Savon, big brother, I pray that mama has mercy on your soul because she is going to wipe her out. What do you want? My boy, there are some things that I cannot remain silent on. There is no amount of money in the world that will keep me quiet. $5,000 for you to keep your mouth shut. Cash at me right now. 
just like a black person. Okay, so you'll leave and say nothing, right? Oh, hell no. I'm about to go tell my mama. I'm gonna tell her that you've been sleeping with my brother and that you gave me $5,000 to join. This house is too crowded. I need Shay, Greg, and Kendrick gone. I don't know, I kinda like Shay being here. Yeah, so you can hit it whenever you like. Exactly. Mama is losing control of this house and I don't ever think she'll get it back on her own. What do you suggest? We kill three birds with one stone. How? Kendrick! What are you doing? Killing three birds with one stone. Kendrick is one of the birds. And he will be the stone who takes out himself and the other two. Trust me. Look, I know y'all probably mad because your mama told me I could stay an extra three weeks, but y'all just gonna have to get over it. Kendrick, how would you like to stay here forever? I mean, I wouldn't mind. Good. We can make that happen. All you have to do is help us get rid of Greg and his daughter. <laughs> okay, how? I need you to find a way to take thousands of dollars out of my mama's account and then find a way for it to end up in Greg's possession. So it looks like he stole it and not me. <laughs> exactly. So what do you say? I like the way you think, Kyrie. I can tell we're related. <laughs> All right, um... I have to think of a way to make Greg think he won some money with one of my scamming businesses, but I'm sure he'll go for it. Of course he will. All right. I'll get started. And um, thank y'all. I really appreciate it. Great. I'm still missing how Kendrick gets in trouble. Greg is low-key scared of Mama. Once confronted, he'll tell her that Kendrick is the one who gave him the money. But then Greg will be out of trouble. Kendrick will lie. Mama will lose her shit and kick all of them out. Hmm. It's worth a shot. Indeed. Good thinking, Kyrie. Savon. On 10 20, 2022, you were home when I was falsely accused by Brian of stealing Mama's car. Mama, Your Honor, can you please instruct the defendant to ask an actual question? I am asking a question, Your Honor. Savon, you were home with Jasmine watching TV. Objection. Cause for speculation. Sustained. Please ask an actual question, Kyrie. Savon, were you home that night and did you see me leave my room? I don't remember. Well, let me help you remember. You were home that night. With your door open, my room is across from yours. You would have seen me leave my room. Objection, leading, sustained. Did you see me leave my room? What do you mean? Your Honor, could you please instruct the witness to stop being a dumbass and answer my question? Answer the question, Savon. I didn't see you in your room. Yes, you did. Stop lying. You saw me in my room. Objection, badgering. Badger these nuts, Brian. Sustained. Watch your mouth, Kyrie. Did you see me take Mama's car keys? I don't remember seeing you in your room and Mama's car keys were gone. Is that because you went looking for them with the intentions of stealing the car for yourself? Objection. Withdrawn. I have no further questions for this witness, Your Honor. Next witness. Jasmine. Yes, sir. Did you at any time see Savon take my mama's car keys? Objection. Relevance. Did you see me leave my room? I honestly was not paying attention to your room. Is that because you were too busy being bent over? Objection. Cause for speculation. Speculate these nuts, Brian. Objection. Badgering. I do know that me and Savon were in the house all night and we heard a car start up. But Kyrie was nowhere to be found. Lies! Your Honor, this witness has been coached into saying that. I want a mistrial. You're grounded. Kyrie, you're grounded. All right. 
Oh, okay. What's up, mama? Leave me alone, Kyrie. I'm not in the mood. Oh, good. Then I can tell you about your other son's whereabouts. I know where all my children are. Do you? Do you really know? If you know something and you're withholding information, I'm going to beat your ass, too. Savon told you that he was at the movies with Jasmine and that they're spending time with each other today. But he's actually not even with Jasmine. He's with Shay. And they're out somewhere shopping using your credit card. And Brian told you that he's hanging out with his friend Katrina today because she's back from basic training. But Katrina doesn't come back from basic training for another four weeks around Thanksgiving time. Now, I do know that Trenton's parents are out of town right now and he has the house to himself. <sighs> and I know he's tearing his ass up. Also, that stain that's on your sheet that you can't get off literally comes from Shay. Savon said that his bed was too small and he needed a king size mattress. So he used yours, mama. Does she have to be in the room? I was here before you got here. Why would I leave? Because I need to talk to Tamika. And I need to keep her out of jail. So for your protection, I'll stay. I came here to apologize for allowing Savon to use your credit card on me. I'm also sorry that he took me to a room that I did not know was yours. Jasmine, I don't know what you're smirking for, but this has nothing to do with you. So stay in the little corner and keep your mouth shut. Although me and Savon are no longer together, I want you to know that I was still with him when you decided to mess around with him. He cheated on you. Get over it. Okay, it's Thanksgiving. I'm not about to go back and forth with a female who has a prescription for Plan B pills. Shay. I told myself the next time that I saw you that I was going to put my hands on you. But I said I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. You left stains on my sheet. I had to burn my entire bed. And you think I give a fuck about your apology? <sighs> what am I supposed to do with that apology, Shay? You are a sick, disgusting little bitch. And you have disrespected me to the max. So I don't give a fuck about your apology. I'll wipe my ass with that shit. And make no mistake, the only reason why you are still sitting in that chair and I have not touched a hair that is attached to your braids, that is attached to your scalp, is because it is Thanksgiving and I cooked. And I would not be going to jail for assault with a deadly weapon. All right, Tamika, I'm gonna leave before the boys wake up. Greg, I told you, just leave quietly. You do not have to tell me when you're leaving. I do not give a fuck. Daddy? What the fuck did she just call you? Shay, what the hell are you doing here? Daddy, are you sleeping with my boyfriend's mom? Gregory. This is your daughter? Uh, well, well, baby, yeah, but I, I don't take care of her. She grown. She she take care of herself. I don't pay, I don't pay nothing. My money is still yours. Lord, what the hell is happening? What is happening? This, this is your child. Looks like you'll be seeing more of me 